Youth runner here with uh, Reese Holly on my left, Sophie Pollet on my right, uh, Jay Sarah finishing second in the Bill Butner Girls Championship race at the 45th A6 Clovis Invitational. Uh, but uh, before uh, we shift the focus to the 57th Orange County Championships and Jay Sarah going for, uh, for three in a row, Reese, obviously you had been in a situation at the Trinity preview where that was just kind of like the rust buster for you. Yeah. Uh, how, how, you know, obviously I know you set an incredibly high standard and expectation for yourself. Uh, what did it feel like to be back in such a giant field, obviously probably, you know, one of the two biggest national fields of, uh, of the year uh, to this point, uh, you know, obviously in addition to a Woodbridge race that you watched mm -hmm. and, 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 and cheered for, but just to be back at Woodward Park, to be in, in that huge field with all the, uh, all the best teams uh, in, in California and uh, to be in the top 25, just how do you feel like uh, the, uh, the, the mind responded and the body responded? Yeah, honestly, it felt great being back, like especially with all my teammates because I just miss racing with them so much. And honestly, like I just felt like so grateful for the opportunity because like I feel like this sport just has such like ups and downs and it's just kind of part of it. So like learning how to like work through that, train through that and like push myself again just felt so great. 1804. Uh, obviously, we, uh, we know that you're going to be uh, in, in the 17s and a huge factor at the Division Four State Final on November 30th. Lord willing, health providing. <laughs> yeah. uh, but what 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 did just how you especially how you felt like going up Killer Hill and how you know, how you felt like in the last last K and the last stretch. Like what uh, what did that what did that tell you about? where you are on October 12th and, you know, how you're going to build off that. Yeah, I mean, you know, the season is super long. So at the end of the day, like, our goal is later in the season. And since this was my first, like, full invitational race back with the girls, I think there's definitely, like, room for improvement. And like you said, um, getting into the 17. So super excited for what's to come and especially the state meet because just feel a lot more prepared going into it. It's always great to run at Clovis and kind of get, like, that, like, test run at Clovis before the state meet. Absolutely. So if he's 17.50, 16th uh, uh, overall, uh, uh, leading the group, I mean, obviously, you know, all the women that you're around, all the women in, uh, in front of you, just like yourself uh, and Reese, or, you know, the who's who in, uh, in California, like, just uh, what did it mean to you after, you know, I know that you wanted your body and your travel schedule and your college decisions to line up with you being in a fast race at, uh, at Woodbridge and a really challenging, you know, course at Eagle Island and, and Bob Furman. Those did not unfold, but certainly uh, uh, this race did just to, to be around them again and to kind of remind yourself that it's like, hey, like everything's everything's OK, like and, and now we're going to push forward. So what, uh, what, what did that mean to you just to kind of be back in that environment again? Oh, it was just, it was amazing. Just being back to racing was really great. As you kind of said, just with all the traveling, with uh, just committing to college and stuff, it was kind of a lot. So being able to come back and start racing again was just a great experience, a lot of fun. And I just, you know, I love being with the girls. Did, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, you and the group uh, set such a high standard and such a, a high expectation. I, was was the way that the second mile unfolded and then the last mile and the last K, like, do you, uh, do you feel like you got the response, you know, uh, from, from your body and, you know, just you know, being able to be gritty and be tough for, uh, for the team? Like, do you, do you feel like uh, that, that was an encouraging sign for you and something that you're going to build on going into OC Champs? Yeah, for sure. I mean, every race is hard. I think especially that being kind of like my rust buster, it did get definitely very hard going up the hills and during that last mile. But just um, I think having a team to run for adds that extra bit of motivation that personally keeps me going when it gets tough. And to hang into OC Champs, I'm definitely super excited about running like kind of a flatter, faster course and seeing what I can do there because we've had some pretty amazing workouts. I think we're all really excited. Speaking of, uh, obviously top three there last year, 1637, uh, the, uh, the, the group wins. Uh, you know, to know that, you know, where you have evolved and developed and improved since that race last year, where the group has evolved mm -hmm. and developed and improved since last year, Kaya now being part of, yeah. the, of, of, of the group, like just uh, what, what's, what's the level of, excitement and, uh, and optimism uh, for this group because obviously you know nothing's promised nothing's guaranteed but mm -hmm. uh, you know it just seems like uh, th this group has kind of you know navigated the roller coaster yes. through, uh, through, through September and is, uh, is now ready just to you know uh, put their foot on, on the gas and, and really attack the second half of the year. Yeah of course I think we're all just super pumped every race is an amazing opportunity that we're all really grateful for so you know we're just gonna do what we can do to prepare for that starting you know earlier this week, but now really kind of focused on the latter half of the week. And we're just going to get on that line and give our best. Awesome.
Reese, uh, and, and the fact that this course really lends itself to the, uh, the group playing to its strength and staying together mm -hmm. for, uh, uh, for, uh, for uh, as long as possible. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, uh, there are a number of exceptional uh, you know, women for, uh, for their programs. There's, you know, mm -hmm. multiple outstanding teams, certainly in Tribuco Hills and, uh, and El Toro, but just J. Sarah, you know, just being the best version of itself and, and racing to its identity, whereas the group stays connected and cohesive uh, for so long. Like, how, how advantageous is that on a course like Oak Canyon Park? Yeah, it's great because, I mean, also me and Sophie didn't get our opportunity to run fast three-mile course at Woodbridge, so we're really just staying focused this meet, and, like, we know that we have the strength of being able to run together as a group, and I feel like that's something, like, a lot of other teams like don't get the opportunity to have that so it's just something super special and it gives us a lot more confidence going into OC champs and there's lots of great individuals and teams like you said coming here so it's just going to be super exciting to see how the race unfolds. 17-10 for you last year and obviously one of the uh, one of the five scores uh, to allow the group to repeat as champions uh, not for the sake of, you know, of pressure or expectation but you just know that if you look back from mid-October last year until now, just again, how much you've improved, how, yeah. how much you've grown, like, do, uh, does that excite you to, uh, to just, you know, see, you know, what those possibilities uh, could be at Oak Canyon Park? Yeah, I feel like I've come a long way since last year and just this program and this team and Coach Chase and everything, he just like really gets us prepared for everything and like, sees the improvement throughout the year so I'm just super excited to see how much I can improve and I know that like having my best race will help the team accomplish their goal so absolutely yeah. Sophie we'll wrap it up uh, with this certainly uh, coach Chase knows but obviously for the sake of inspiration and motivation for you and the group I mean obviously this is a, a program and a team that has redefined success in the Trinity League redefined success in the southern section at the state level in division four uh, but Jay Sarah could become only the second team ever in any division uh, to win three in a row at OC championships and it's been more than 20 years since Esperanza won three in a row from 2001 to 2003 again obviously you ladies are going to be present and live in the moment and only worry about Saturday but uh, but just knowing that that could be another aspect of your legacy Reese's legacy and the team's legacy like uh like how special are opportunities like that to you just know that you could be part of something like that yeah no I mean it's huge when you put on that J Sarah kit you're not just writing for yourself you're writing for the program you're writing for your teammates so being able to accomplish um big things like that that haven't happened in like 20 years as you said is just amazing it's a great opportunity and we're all super excited awesome uh Sophie, Reese, uh, stay healthy, uh, best of luck, and uh, congratulations on the success at Clovis. Thank, Thank you. you.